Well, the alternative would have been uh, that we would have gone into a massive economic downward spiral, and many Americans would have not had enough food uh, to put on the table. So we chose the other path. Does the president then acknowledge any responsibility for the inflation that we're seeing now based on the decisions that he's made when he came into office? Well, I would say, as the president has talked about quite a bit, there are a range of factors, including uh, the pandemic, the impact on the supply chains, and our effort. And what we've tried to do from the beginning is take steps to address that, address the supply chains. And we've had a lot of success moving more equipment and goods through through um, through ports, et cetera. We've also seen, given energy is such an, a significant driver of this data, an increase in energy prices over the last month plus since the invasion of Ukraine. That's factual. That's based on data that we have seen out there. So our effort and our focus has been to try to address it and take mitigation measures when we can. But if you take responsibility for his decisions, like some say the American Rescue Plan boosted demand uh, when it didn't need to, Larry Summers was one of those. Well, the alternative would have been uh, that we would have gone into a massive economic downward spiral, and many Americans would have not had enough food uh, to put on the table. So we chose the other path. So with the last two days, the inflation reports, um, does the White House believe that inflation has now peaked and we're coming back down, or because of these reports, do you think we're going to see even worse numbers in the future? We'll let the Federal Reserve uh, make projections about that. They have the purview uh, over those projections. Obviously, what we're trying to do is mitigate the, the energy impact and take steps to do exactly that, release from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve and other actions working to get more supply out into the marketplace. But, you know, again, projections of of a of when we're hitting a height and and where it will look, we we will leave that to the Federal Reserve. Over the last four weeks, fewer Americans filed initial claims for unemployment insurance than any time in recorded history. Since President Ob Biden took office, our economy has added 7.9 million jobs. That's more jobs created on average per month than any other president in history. And last month, the unemployment rate fell to 3.6 percent, down from 6.7 percent when the president took office about 15 months ago. This historic job growth is a direct result of the American Rescue Plan, which funded our vaccination strategy, reopen schools, and help grow the economy from the bottom up and the middle out. Now, I understand that my Republican colleagues want to blame inflation on President Biden and the enormously successful American rescue, cl rescue plan. But let us be clear, the problem is not that a low-income worker got a 50-cent raise last week and a $1,400 check from the federal government over a year ago. That is not the problem. To a significant degree, pathetically, large corporations are using the war in Ukraine and the pandemic as an excuse to raise prices significantly to make record-breaking profits.